What's going on lads? Today is going to be a bit of a um, sort of a mixed up video um, mostly because recently I've just been flat out of work and I haven't actually had time to make any videos um, but I actually have a good little evening tonight where I am actually spraying my wheels on the Audi S3 so I wasn't able to record any but basically I've already sort of started so we've actually gone with gloss black wheels on, on the uh on the s3 so basically these used to be silver and now they're actually i've done gone ahead and done them gloss black like that um i've also got the caps uh, these are actually come out a bit shitty the virtually the paints actually reacted on these caps uh, so i need to resound them down uh, and then respray them but it was because of the lacquer the lacquer actually uh reacted to the cap the paint that i was using um, this is one that I'm doing um, at the minute. I've just primed it. And then I've got one wheel over here, which I have primed. Well, it's first layer of prime. Um, one wheel to be done. And I'm actually going ahead. I'm actually sanding down the calipers because I'm actually going to put these yellow. <laughs> so it's a bit, literally this video is going to be very weird for you guys because I'm just trying to fill in the gaps that I haven't been recording. Um, but I'm going to be doing these yellow. I do have the spray here somewhere. Let me see. Here it is. So it's going to be going sort of this colour. Hopefully it turns out alright. Um, we shall see. I haven't actually been using the Audi at the minute because um, with my work I've just been going freaking everywhere. Freaking hour and a half drive here, there, freaking everywhere. Um, and sitting sitting in my car here and there, so um, I actually got that that little Skoda over there I've been using. Um, but yeah, so this has been basically just in the garage for now, as I want to get some bits done to it. Um, I want to obviously do the brakes, front and rear. I want to get it lowered, and uh, now obviously I'm doing the wheels. But I just wanted to uh, chuck it in here, use the Skoda for a little while, save some money um, on fuel and. Uh, as well as saving this car from like if this if it did break on this then i'd be a bit screwed um because i'd be using this for work sort of thing so i thought i'll leave it here for a little bit and save some money and get get some shit done to it um but um yeah guys it's a bit of an update video really um i'll catch up with you guys later on when i uh well i guess when i do the calipers um obviously i've already done a video in the past about calipers and me spraying them on my R32, so I'm gonna go ahead and do these off camera. But yeah, I'll catch up with you guys after I do some more spraying, I guess. Okay, lads, so a bit of an update now. Um, I've got the, uh, I'll start spraying this wheel outside and it got really windy and it just wasn't a good idea. So I'll start spraying it inside and just being a bit careful because it's obviously quite near, quite close to the car, but it should be okay. Um, I have started spraying the one of the front calipers, as you can see. I just close the door now because it was just too windy outside. Um, so, yeah, we're getting there. I mean, this is definitely gonna. I'm not gonna be all doing this all tonight because I've got to be work at work again in like two hours. So I'm just sort of doing this over the days. But uh, yeah. Turning out not too bad. If I show you guys the other side now, Got the heater on in here as well. <laughs> so that's what we're looking at this side. Uh, I just need to, I'm waiting for that cap to dry over there. Now I'm going to put that one on here. And then at a later date, I need to sand these two back down because they reacted, like I said. Uh, this one is uh, masking and sanding. Uh, if you guys can see, the bead is off the tire because. Um, I got the beads broken to uh, spray paint it, but I don't think I'm going to bother with the other side because I just feel like it's too much of a hassle. See that bead still off as well. Um, the, I think there's only like 25, 27 PSI in them. So when I uh, when it's all done, I mean, these wheels are going to come back off anyway to do the calipers. But when it's all done, I'll go to a garage and I'll get them pumped up properly. But yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. Um, probably be one more video before I go home today but I'll carry on recording another day so yeah
in about another half an hour. I've um, done a couple more coats on this caliper, but I think I'm just going to leave that now because it's just uh, it's got quite a lot of paint on there. And I don't want it to start dripping. Uh, this is coming out really nice. And then I've literally just started sanding down, prepping this, but I'm out of tape, but, which is fine. I'll, just, I'll get some more tomorrow. Uh, I'll start sanding down one of these caps that are thingies, um, reacted. And then this is the finished product of one that's actually come out really nice. Uh, as you can see, I've taken the rings out. So what it's going to be, it's going to be like just a ring sort of thing. Um, like this over here, if I go over here, it's going to come out like that. So it's just black with the Audi rings in the middle, which is what I want. Um, so um, yeah, we've got a long road ahead, but hopefully we should be good. So I'll go ahead and see you guys um, in like three seconds for you, but uh, a couple of days for me. So. Um, yeah, catch you guys in a bit. Hey lads, so it's currently the next day. Uh, I've just put another coat of paint on the caliper here. And I'm also gonna take the tape off this wheel here because it looks pretty damn good at the minute. Um, now I've also got this one cap, I've sanded it down, I've just primed it now. Um, and I've also put that cap that was here, that was pretty much finished back on the car um, which looks decent you can see on this wheel it's actually a bit of um, a bit uh, what's the words like I was saying before it's just freaking reacted a little bit um, but I've already sanded this this wheel down and resprayed it and it seems to have reacted a little bit more um, there so I'm not really gonna I'm not gonna freaking re-sand it again so I thought I think it looks tidy enough um, but obviously this one looks absolutely spotless and I'm hoping this cap will turn out spotless as well so I'm gonna go ahead and take the tape off this wheel now okay so now the tape's off the wheel is actually it actually looks really good I'm actually so keen to get it on there spotless so I'm actually gonna go to work again now but um I'll come back in a couple of days and uh, finish off the job. But right, literally, it's Christmas tomorrow anyway, so at least everything will have some time to dry. So I'll go ahead and catch you guys in a couple of days. Then I've packed up a little bit. I've uh, put everything out of the way. Um, I'm still trying to get this uh, cap to come out quite nice. I've also still waiting on to get some more masking tape for this wheel but i'm gonna go ahead and get some more today um but basically the front caliper is now done and that's how we're looking um i think it looks pretty damn decent the paint is not amazing um i mean basically when i took this cap off i um sprayed it and then i put the cap on and it scratched it a little bit but um, nothing that's too, too major. You just sort of see like, where is it? A little bit there. But other than that, you know, nobody's gonna be freaking there going like this. So it looks pretty decent. Um, I've also got the back one on the way. And uh, yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're definitely getting there. But uh, I've just ordered some more, um, some more lights for the garage. <laughs> Which I might do a little video on installing them, and I've also ordered a like um, a wall-mounted heater, um, which would be pretty sick as well. Um, that's done by remote, uh, so yeah, I think it's going to be pretty decent in here once I get all these lights, because what it is is like there's like three lights this side of the garage, and then there's like one light over there, which yeah. So but yeah, I'm pretty excited. So um, I'll catch up with you guys when I uh, finish this caliper. What's going on lads? So it's been a couple of days since my last um, little update. Um, this is now the wheel that I've been sprayed. Um, and this is the wheel with the yellow caliper. And we've also got this back one here being currently sprayed. So it's actually coming out really well. Um, especially this side. It's really good. And it's currently still Doing this uh, cap here, sanding down this cap, and um, yeah, I've also uh, been fiddling around with the lights a bit, 
Um, I'm going to have ordered some more lights, so I'm got one. going to have one here, one there, uh, I'm going to have another one here, and then that will be literally the lighting all completely done, and it should be really light in here. So, uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and catch up with you guys once I, uh, I guess once I finish this rear caliper, maybe, and then I'm going to start doing the other side. Okay, lads, so we're actually finally finished, and this is like the finishing sort of result. Uh, I will hopefully by the end of uh, this video, or if not, I'll um, see if I'll quickly put a picture of it in the daylight. Because obviously it's not as bright as, as it would be outside. But uh, she is looking pretty damn smart. So uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and... Uh, catch up with you guys once I get outside in the daylight to maybe tomorrow and uh, we'll get some proper pictures of it but I reckon they'll actually turn out really nice yellow calipers black wheels grey car not too bad alright lads <laughs> so I've just got the car on in a minute but uh, this is sort of the front finished product I think mean, it looks so much better go ahead and see you guys in the next video and i hope you guys had a good christmas and new year so yeah see you in a bit